So, let me talk about the Oxford Pathway event I went to. So, let's get to it. So, what is Oxford Pathway? So, Oxford Pathway is an event that is state uh, is for state school uh, and for people who are of a high ability uh, that can uh, that have a reasonable chance of going to Oxford. So it doesn't mean like getting all A stars or anything. Like just getting a reasonable amount of A stars, like one or two, or maybe getting all A's or something like that. But it is a uh, a way to encourage people of state schools to go to Oxford, and they also give taster sessions for people to try out uh, how. Uh, Oxford's like and see um, the different aspects of Oxford so you've, you get a, a tour of Oxford you get to see what what sort of lessons are taught there what the teaching style is kind of like and uh, you actually get to put this in your personal statement uh, of things you've learned at Oxford Pathway so I'll talk to you about what I learned at Oxford and uh, if this would be useful to you they give an introductory talk on uh, how what you have to do to apply to Oxford and um, they give you a breakdown on how Oxford is not all about being posh and rich um, but you do have to be quite smart and you do have to be uh, quite committed to your subject so you have to be um, you know you need to want to do that subject when they say you live and breathe the subject they literally mean it i mean people really enjoy the subject so if you like chemistry you re you must really like chemistry that means if you were to do chemistry you could do it for hours on end or if you want to do medicine you can do it hours on end whatever that is so if that's the kind of person you are then oxen and cambridge is the way to go uh another thing to bear in mind is uh so there is uh they talked about fees and how much they give and Oxford apparently gives quite a lot around 3,000 um, plus uh, to people that need it so that's really good, a good amount if you need if you're looking for a place that gives pretty good bursary Oxford's the place to go um, okay so that being done what about what did I actually do then what subject streams did I so I did the biochemistry subject stream last year and the chemistry stream this year. So what happened in the biochemistry and what happened in the chemistry? Let me just tell you the one thing before I go to that. I was planning to go to the medicine but I didn't get in. So I don't know what happened there. I didn't get into medicine when I got into biochemistry and chemistry kind of says something maybe. I should didn't apply for medicine at all. Maybe. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Anyway. Biochemistry, I was learning about fragmentation ions and uh, how you can use fragmentation, uh, like mass spectrometry and fragment ions of uh, amino acids to figure out the polypeptide chain, which is quite simple enough to do. Um, it's pretty much adding a takeaway and it's problem solving of different amino acids. Um, they give you a problem solving sheet and you work through it. There'll be someone that will help you. Uh, uh, through the problems if you are stuck very much like if you are doing a workshop with in your class where you just go through a past paper with your teacher or something like that um, after that we were having sort of a mini lecture on um, glow worms and how they work so we were learning about bioluminescence and photo the photo uh, the photo um, how photons uh, work you know how they go from a ground state electro electrons go from a ground state to a higher energy state which releases a f uh, as when they go from a higher energy to a ground state they release a photon and that gives out light and how we could use that to figure out cancer different um tr uh, diagnosis and treatment uh, it's not treatment i mean like detection sorry um you know, bioluminescence is quite important for detection and it's quite a relatively safe way um, in comparison to using radioactive isotopes. Although they are quite safe, but, um, but you know, they can be unsafe in some circumstances and are quite hard to make. So bioluminescence might be a cheaper and more affordable way to do it. Um, so in the chemistry stream, I was uh, learnt about NMR. We got to see an NMR machine, and we also did. Uh, so NMR is nuclear magnetic resonance. Uh, if you want to search it up, go ahead. Uh, Google's there, right there for you guys. Um, uh, I won't explain it too much, but they did do quite a bit, and we had a problem solving sheet where we used the spectroscopy and we tried to figure out the compound that was made using the NMR spectro 
uh, spectrum. And after that, we looked at making fuel cells, um, pretty much using elect two electrodes, uh, putting it into um, syringes, filling it up with the uh, H2SO4, so uh, sulfuric acid, and then uh, obtaining the hydrogen. Unfortunately, I was not allowed to do the squeaky pop test with the hydrogen, which I wanted to do because there were some flammable gases around the lab, so and they didn't have any flames anyway. So that was kind of uh, disappointing. It wasn't an organic chemistry lab, so kind of makes sense. Um, so that's that. Uh, so if um, yeah, one more thing to mention about. Uh, the Oxford Pathway event is that you are put into a forum where you get to interact with other people. Uh, so you get interact with the tutors and uh, students who are at Oxford and people who went to the Oxford Pathway event. So that would be a great opportunity for you to discuss topics and uh, find out things. I remember doing uh, last year and they did some nice topics on biology and things and you had to figure things out and physics and stuff. And it was quite nice to like, have that community. It's like student room, but uh, uh, specifically for Oxford, um, it dies down uh, after exams, but before then, it's pretty good, and I think you should check that out. So, that's a definitely yes, yes to going to Oxford. So, should you go to it for it's for a day, and I would recommend you go to it if you are applying to wanting to apply to Oxford or even to Cambridge because it will give you an idea as to if you want to go to Oxford or Cambridge, and it'll give you an idea as to the sort of environment you're going to be put in. And if you like that sort of uh, environment, um, you know, you are going into a place you don't want to be going to into Oxford and not knowing how it's like or anything. It, you had this sort of event which allows that to, for you to do, it, uh, do that and um, it's, I think a lot of people can get into it and it's not that difficult but obviously be realistic of your choices. But yeah, uh, if you want to go ahead, go to the Oxford Pathway of, uh, of website. I should leave in the description box below, hopefully I, should, I do that and that's that. Um, that's all for me. I recommend you go. That's all. Random hope. Over and out. And